I I don't know about that. You know what? I kind of like it. Um, it's it's very risky. That uh, makes don't get one me of wrong. Us. Well, so I I know I know what we're both thinking, which is Renekton uh, hasn't been great, and additionally you're picking Renekton into Poppy, uh, which also doesn't feel wonderful. Uh, as the Gragas counterpick is gonna come through, no brain or dare. But the one thing that you do have now as Nongshim is a top side that is monstrous. We go on to the rift. Match 85, guys. We only have three more days until the regular season is done. Wow. And then we go into playoffs in the next week. Red, going to be looking for on fleek here. Yeah. We'll be getting into this jungle already. Mm. As you saw, there was a ping from mid. As in goes Dread, getting aggressive now. Unfortunately, hits the blue buff there. Oh. And now, with the priority from the bot side, you do have pushing power here with Sivir. And the Renata, they're trying to get in, and they will get the smite off. On Fleet cast a flash away and lose his blue buff. So a very nice proactive play here from Nongshu. Really nicely done. Didn't even talk about the uh, prior that was possible on bot side of the map, uh, but also nice pathing here from Dread. Really well coordinated. Right, goes for his blue, then Grump, uh, makes his way over to red buff, and then perfectly timed with his bot lane, walks in. Take what a look at how BDD is playing this lane. Uh, he's CSing really well, but also he's putting oh. an insane amount of harass damage onto Karis. And this is setting up perfectly for the gank over the wall. Perfectly done. As Dread sets that one up, BDD will collect first blood. Very refreshing, proactive gameplay and, right. and extremely aggressive draft. I mean, take a look at this. Now Khan is going to be dominating his lane. BDD oh. is dominating mid. And even though Kana's not overstepping his bounds, take a look at this now. Now we're diving the bottom lane. And there's not much that they can do about it. Level six here, hit for BDD. You're not getting away from this one. They're just gonna feed him the kills too. That is three into the pockets of BDD already. Wow. Picture perfect, man. Oh, it's it's actually, it's, it's textbook. It really is textbook. Um. He had very nice vision before he still has vision in the river as now he's just going to go in, take an aggressive trade here. Dudu, no cask available, but we do have a fight down here and that is going to be a massive berserk into the three of them as it is just followed up and Karis doesn't have much help alone with Lulu. As Karis should be able to get away, but I'm alive. They opt into a fight into Vi, Ari, and Renata. It's not going to work out well for them. What about Zeri? What about the scaling of Silas? Uh oh. I think Karis might be eating a death here as Snowflower on a very nice roam is going to handshake him back onto the turret, but BDD did take a ton of damage. Doesn't matter. Dread is right here for the alley oop. He's going to collect that kill as Karis unfortunately finds himself in a 1v3 position. 1v3 position oh. here. He has a lot of gold. Yeah, uh, quite a while. As we are going to dive onto this one, it is a ton of damage due to has wild growth, and he does have uh, the cask and flash, so he should be totally fine. Nice little dive there onto the top side. I'd, I'd like it. <laughs> I don't know. Down. Because then the purple works, right? Uh, we do have a lot of members in this brush, as Dread is kind of in a precarious situation, but he will just dash away from that one, as the zap not going to do too much from the side of Samdi. And it feels like a matter of time before Gnomeshim press their buttons as the Poppy Copter comes out. Not going to hit anyone as that one is going to go the way of Hama Life. But can they get out of this is the question. As Zombie is going to flash away from here and they just decide to pile on to Karis. As BDD going to get another one and hits the charm afterwards. Ghost picks up the kill and it is just lights out on this fight as on Fleek is going to flash the wall and BDD does not care about your flashes and about anything that you brought to this fight. He will flash after you. He now has five kills in 16 minutes. You look at the Nongshim comp, and you're like, if BDD can press R. Uh-oh. Uh and this is what you were talking about. Can't really get away from this, even as Gragas, although the cast does come out and might just save him, even though that last crit was pretty insane. Dudu is going to have to go for a back now. And this is a moment where Nongshim could set up vision for Baron, but instead, let's go for more picks. 
As the charm comes in on fleek, it looks like he was charmed for about five seconds. Does not matter. That is a sixth kill for B. Yeah, Hamalai trying to set something up here. They actually have decent control of the river for now. Trying to control this micro brush, but now Kana is on a bit of a chase for that back line. You see that at the meanwhile, Karis is not in this fight. He's going to have to TP into this one if he wants to get here on time as they are just going all in onto on Fleek. He flashes in. In comes Karis with the TP. Kana over the wall. Solo for now. As BDD now looking for the charms. Not going to amount to too much. And Ocean, you could just zone them and take objectives. That is, a, that is an option that you do have. Vladimir, also, oh. a, also a nice pick. TP. Like that idea. And they do not quite know about this. Engage comes in from on fleek. Nobody has really lost health on the side of Dread. Really fantastic flash from him as they just kite it back to back. Front to back, and that is going to be due to going down eventually. The charm comes in onto Sam D as they clean up the fight here. Three more kills into the pockets of Nongshin. See what they can do. Looks like they are pushing into the bottom lane at this moment in time, trying to bully Kana here who is going to get stunned up, but he does have Dominus, and he is ready to party if he would like to. He's not impressed. He's just sitting here. He has GA. He is flesh. He's level 16. He doesn't care. Yeah, you're, you're not really going to be able to do anything to that croc. I think even if you all in that one, as that is what looked to be a blind charm over the wall as a nice cast gets in. That is a free Renata Glass. As, uh, okay, nice little kill comes in there for Hamalife Esports at least. Unfortunately, on Fleek the one to pick that up. And now 13,000 gold ahead and still with the Baron buff, Gnome Sim are pushing in 4v5. Scary that crocodile. is disgusting. Hey, remember that 10% oh extra AD scaling on Dominus Felda? There you go. Yeah. It's going to be burning people down. And... Yeah, Ari has 641 Sivir, 378. They're trying to collapse onto the Croc again, and the Polymorph is actually what nearly gets them a kill. 5v1, by the way. Um, not quite enough to take down this Croc, as he still has his GA, not to mention. That is going to be the end of these two inhibitors and the end of this game when Nongshim decide to push this one in. And overall, Looks like Hollow Life was unable to withstand the mic. Oh. BDD gets taken low. <laughs> Almost got him! You were so close! Wait. He got so low as Kana is going to be put down to his GA, and so is Dread, <laughs> as he is going to secure that kill on to the AD carry. Nicely done by him. He has been solid on this Vi, and the RE Vi Renekton and topside just a little bit too much for Hollow Life to handle here in game number one. Extremely dominant victory. For an here. Lane to allow Dread to alley oop in the mid lane, then BDD hit six fast. He went bot, immediately dunks down there. He'd be my pick, but I can understand why you would vote for Dread as well. I think we'll have a split. Um, otherwise, I'll be uh, I'll be the one guy that should have listened to Velda. So. <laughs>It's got to be a phallus. We got a, co a, a couple of really fun hovers. Um, we've we've heard the, the rumors about the Kindred AD carry. We see a little bit of Zaya, which don't love, but into uh, the aggressive early game that is available on uh, on Humble Life and the amount of dive. Yeah. Five dive makes, champs. Yeah, it makes it makes sense, uh, but it's just going to be a phallus. Off we go. Back onto the rift. A melee character that gets bullied in lane, and bullying in lane is way more impactful. Uh, this patch. Speaking of bullying in lane, in goes Vista again. Double Gravitim into immediate cleanse out of D, which does pretty much absolutely nothing, as he is unfortunately not able to follow up on the play. Snowflower is eating a lot of the damage as well. You see that Ghost is still at full health, still has two potions. And might have a free free, free on our hands here. Yeah, Snowflower just goes in trying to bait this one, but on Fleek is nearby. Gravitum is incredibly valuable as they lock down the Cleanseless Somdi, and he will flash on the backside of it as well. First Blood goes to the Aphelios in the bottom lane. 
side. And uh, zones Dudu -Doo off of a wave. Dudu, -Doo, of course, going to be able to teleport, but still, uh, it is a very similar situation that we have as BDD just throws Karas out. Yeah, he does have Dread here, but Dread's only level 5, so I don't think they quite have the damage. They do force a ultimate, I suppose. Yeah, ult for ult. Yeah. Not bad. On Flakes here. Pre durability bats, let's hold that. Uh, Karas missed his over the wall, but he is going to flash on into that. Bit of a bouncy castle on this one. Dread gets really low. BDD now trying to go 1v2 as everybody's super low on the bottom side. Tom D just going to walk into a kill. I was not sure about that one, but maybe uh, messing up the trade a little bit. But at least Home Life do get a kill in mid, and they're able to shut that down. All you need as a Valio sometimes is just a couple of extra seconds. Yeah. As all, oh, I mean, they know, they should know Dread is here. As, okay, Onfleet goes in. They're trying to stop the Bouncy Castle onto Ghost, but the Curse of the Sad Mummy gets so much value, but Dread back on the trade is going to take out two of them. And Onfleet is going down as well. BDD was here, by the way. Uh, decided not to go into that one. Dread is just going to pick up a triple kill as he's right there for the counter game. Onfleet and Dread on the ward here. Kana. Uh oh, doo -doo. Yeah, I don't think you're getting uh There we go. Eating healthfully. He's Proud of a you, lot Connor. Of oh yeah. He's, oh yeah. He's getting those vitamins, less of the minerals. As we are going into this fight again, Dread is here and he has just no chill in this series. He is just dunking on this bottom lane over and over and over. And unfortunately, that means now Kalista Samdi here zero and four, and he feeds two kills over to BDD. Dread does. So now BDD's fed again. And it's very quickly going downhill here. Horus. Got him. A little bit of a rest here. Okay, he's uh, he's actually going in. He's going to go over this dragon wall, and he should be fine. Just <laughs> it, it, avoid it, it, it entirely. Yeah, it's just not really oh, a good outcome there. As he does have oh. a hop and a flash, but Dread is just so fed right now. Take a look at how much damage he's doing with the Divine Sunderer already finished. Man. He is just on the entirety of this Homolife Esports team. Snowflower as well. That, that was a beautiful Xenoblade. Um, damage uh, with the current BT. game state. Yeah. <laughs> as, yeah, this. Baba, tell us, tell us, tell us. That one's clean. Nice up. Nice up. Once. I think we've seen only Leona once. But yeah, it's generally not a Samu move. Yeah, and I'm a big. Uh, fan, obviously, of Stopwatch. I'm not so sure about that build, though. I, I, I'm still not 100% sure on if it's good or not. As we are getting in oh. onto this Mega Nar, but that does mean that Snowflower puts himself into a bit of trouble here as he's got a Stopwatch. But the flanking Akali is the most dangerous, and Ghost is not going to survive. That's a kill apiece for Dudu and Karis as Dread. Oh, man. <laughs> if he were tankier, oh, he's going to take them. Blast Plant back into the fight as BDD is just shredding through the front line. He'll take down two more. As that is going to be now 4-0 and zero for the Nasher's Tooth Crown already finished on BDD. Yeah, Ghost, once BT is finished, I don't know if that still works. Karis, he is a Kali. He does not want to have to use anything else. So he will get out of here alive for now. Baron available. And, I mean, you've got a Felios and a Zir and a tanky Leona. I think there is actually a world in which you can just do it, right? And, well, speak of the devil, here we go. We are just doing it. We're just going to send it. Oh, and as long as they turn here, I'm on board. Don't flip it for no reason. That's all I ask of you, Nongshim. Mm. <laughs> a little dice. There we go. That's a turn. a little bit flippy there. Uh, Ghost has about 7,000 Chakrams, but the dive is insane as it's not enough to take him down, though. They're trying to take out the Azir, and they will eventually. But that's just one thing. Azudu is going to pick up a kill onto the Aphelios, and look at Som D. Now he's actually got some room to hop around, and it's a one fight for Hawaii Life Esports. Oh, and they're going to turn their attention towards the Baron immediately. Bounties are up, and Nongshim. Beautiful flank there from on Flake. Able to actually make as well. I don't think they can do this. Um, no. I, 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 my uh, money is on no. I, uh, well, I guess if, if Kana was there, uh, he could stop them. Um, He'd rather take the Ocean Drake. 
Yeah, I don't know if they have the stats. Uh, there are a lot, a lot of sticks. Spears. There are a lot of sticks in the Baron, and it looks like the answer was yes. I was wrong. It is enough to take it down, and Kana says, well. And overall, state of the game, still not amazing for Hanwha Life as the deep flank coming through. All right, they want to pull out all the stops. They get into that back line. Zombie, he is hopping. He is not stopping, but they will stop him. Um, down he does go as the flank will work out here for the side of Nongshim. It will put an end to this one as Follow Flash comes through from Snowflower, but it is not enough to actually lock him down. So even against the Baron push, Nongshim put a stop to it. Unfortunately for Nongshim, they'd already gotten this turret and there's no side waves in a good position. So instead they say, we drop our own turret and now they're sieging against the Baron buff. Yeah. And they're going to make it work, Valdas. Saying, come at me, bro. I mean, there's not really much that Hamalife have here. They don't have Meganar just yet. Yeah. Get spotted out there. Ward coverage is good. And Nida team uh, really committing here. It does take about seven years to take down the streak. So Nung Sim know they have some time. Crown still available here on BDD. He's not going to take any damage in the beginning. Just go straight into the stopwatch. And even though he gets knocked up afterwards, it does not matter. Nearly dies at the end, as Karis is desperate to try to get this. And the wall is beautiful. BDC, BDD rather, does say nope in his face and takes him down. That is going to be Ocean Soul here for Nongshin. It's not that much. Only you guys, not anybody else. Sorry. <laughs> well, any donut enjoyers, <laughs> maybe. Okay, donut enjoyers. But the name was... We can include donut. Good times. In French, as a whole. Max did say that everybody, if you're human, is a donut enjoyer, but an enjoyer of fights is Ghost, and he is going to pick that one up. Nice engage from Vista, but a little bit too little too late. Sandy is just going to dodge and save his support, who just stays in the face call. Dread goes on in as he is looking for more, and it feels like everybody's got stasis at this point in time, because why not? When your bags are this full of money, you might as well purchase something with them. Vista does not have stopwatch anymore. He's just trying to get something done here for his team. Karis in the back line will take out BDD. Because Kana picks up a kill for himself. Samdi and Karis desperately trying to hold on to this base. It's not looking too good, but they are giving it their best shot. In goes Dread, looking for the engage, looking for some more kills. As it's not amounting to too much, stopwatch going to avoid the kill on the Ghost. And the Ghost may just want to hit that Nexus now. He's getting pretty low, but he will take that kill first. As in goes Dudu once again, but he will be taken out by Ghost as well, who will pad the stats at the end. That is a 2-0 from Nongsim. Clean victory here tonight. And uh, well, Ghost, he did do the most damage, so that's that. Uh, Karis tried. I liked how, you know, in this game, even though it's, you know, kind of a sad situation for Alma Life, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to pull out my, my pocket pick see what I can do. And he actually looked good on it, even though his team uh, d did not. No. Thank you very much, guys. This is Jisun for the PLG interview. Not actually. Um, it's actually the entire Nongjin Red Force players joining the post-game interview as we are nearing the end of the regular split. Congratulations on the win. Kana, how do you feel? Today, I'm so happy that we got the 2-0 win. And today, I don't think I made any kind of a standout performance or plays, but I'm so thankful that my teammates did a great job. Kana, you played Renekton for two games in a row. Oh, Dudu has been doing a great job recently, so was, that, was Renekton something you prepared to kind of deal with the current Dudu's form? Not really. I mean, we were having a lot of tanks on the top lane recently, and then I saw Renekton getting buff. And this is a really good pick to have priority up until the um, Herald timing. I know every match matters, but I think today really meant a lot more. So what was your mindset coming into lower par low park today? I got to play well. And then let's move on to Dread. You have been ramping up recently and today you are able to see even better performance. Are you satisfied with your performance today? 
Yeah, I do. I am. And I think I had a lot of fun, which makes me really happy. In game one, we had a huge kind of teamwork uh, with the Arivai comp. You were counter jungling the opponent, and then the back to back turret dive was so on point. So. You were playing against Poppy in game number one. What was your plan dealing with Poppy in her early game? As soon as, um, or as long as I can spot Poppy in the jungle, you know, our laners would be able to solidify uh, their lead. So I was, I was able to have a really easy one. I think those early dives are so on point and very decisive. Were you the one making the calls? It's more about the teamwork, you know, all together. Well, you did a great job, but you were so close to winning the POG. I'm not sure about the game number two, but there are some moments where it played really well because, you know, also our teammates were doing a great job. So what can I say? And I saw Dread, you're giving you giving BDD a look when you were answering that. So how was your teamwork with BDD and Dread? I think we were doing whatever we could do, you know, everything we could do, and it was a very clean game. I'm happy. And then in game two, you first picked Azir, you know, obviously your signature pick. However, this summer was not your Azir season. Well, it's not just about the Azir, it's more about my own gameplay. Speaking of that, you know, Dongjin Red Force still has one more match to play. So how do you look back this entire summer split, BDD? Well, I think we were able to figure out what we have to work on and improve, but it took us so long to actually get better at it. So I think we really have to do better next time. Let's hear from Ghost. This summer split, you were showing off your deep champion pool. You played the 13 picks so far, so how, what's your thought on the current meta? Well, I was not aware of that, but there were not many picks where I could, that I could play early on. And then later on with the um, patches, I was able to play more picks, I guess, you know, because bottom lane meta kind of changed on and on. And speaking of new picks, I think Sivir was one of them, and you were having a great success on that pick this summer, 4 and 0. Does that connect with you really well? Right now, Sivir itself is really strong, and also I'm an old pro gamer, you know, which means I'm good at old champions. And you started playing together with Nunko Snowflower this summer split. How was your teamwork? It has not been that long since we played together, so yeah, like finding the best teamwork was not easy, but I think we pushed through really well, and he's had, he has a great personality, so I had great times with him. Now let's hear from the game number two, POG. I think this is our first time to hear from you on Nongshim. Hi, I'm Nongshim's new support, Snowflower. Welcome, Snowflower. For the POG, to the POG interview. Snowflower, after you joined the starting roster, Dongshin Rat Force was able to actually slowly ramp up and you were the most vocal player on the side of Nongshim in terms of shot calling. I mean, even before I joined Nongshim, all six players and the coaching staff were great people. You know, they had great personality. The team atmosphere was so good. So I was able to adapt to the new team really well. I saw a lot of interviews where other Nongshim players mentioned about your shot call, which is really good. What kind of role were you supposed to play? Well, starting off the second round, I was 
not good at shot calling, but I'm still working on it, you know? It was our pleasure to have the entire Nongshin roster up on the stage for this interview, but we still have one more match to go, which is against Hwang Dong Freak's Ghost. What is your mindset heading into the very last one? I really wanted to say this on the interview. We still have one more match to play, but I really, really would like to say thank you for all the fans who have been supporting us starting from the spring split. And please keep supporting us until the very last one. And I love you guys. Thank you. And this will be the end of the interview from the Nongshi Red Force players and back to the casters. Thank you.